Garbo back! Woo! Ready, shot, show! Ready, set, go! Jeez. Oh, some Garbo in there. One of them went. Play-Doh! We got Play-Doh. Hey! Hmm? If you've watched a lot of this show, you might have seen the episode where we played Pictionary. But instead of drawing, we made the art in pancakes. Well, we're gonna do something similar this time, but instead of pancakes, we have Play-Doh. We're gonna be sculpting and playing Pictionary. Perfect. So it's like Sculptionary? Look at that. Crisp Play-Doh. Perfect. So nice. <laughs> Perfect. Uh. There we go. Ooh, that's a good- It oh. smells good. Play-Doh smells good. If it weren't for Play-Doh, <laughs> we wouldn't be creative. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just make a big I'd blob out of this. I'd be a dull engineer. So what we're gonna do- that's what I studied. <laughs> so there's three categories here that we're gonna choose from. Person, place, animal, that's one. Yes. And then action. Uh, and the end of the episode is kind of at our discretion. Look at that. Oh my God, did you really? <laughs> you weren't supposed to see that. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. Have you? Yeah, it well looks, look, how could I resist? Delicious. It's, it's it huge. looks delicious too. Hold on. Mom never let me. It's uh, very, it's very salty. Listen. <laughs> you ever nom on glue as a kid? No. Nah. Me neither. Put that bike back where it belongs. Wait a minute. That's another categories card. This is a tough one I'm starting with here. Okay. Um, but you know what? I think we can do it here, Trevor. I think you and I together. So this is a flat, so you're not, okay, this is 3D capable. Yeah, and you're going see? very flat. So I'm thinking lily pad, I'm thinking frog, I'm thinking oh, thinking grasshopper. It's all coming to me. Nice and, and flat. Well, maybe nice it's all the flat. green that's really ruining it. So let's... Yeah, yeah, green and lily pad, I get how that's kind of mm -hmm. synonymous here. Oh man, just remember this? We're using we, Play-Doh? We're not Play-Dohing with all the colors of the wind, I'll be honest. No, because uh, we didn't want to make it too easy to guess stuff. And if you have a lot of colors, that can make it very, very, very easy. Yeah. Ooh, a little ladder, perhaps. A little, uh -huh. a little fence. I am a master at sculpting. Wait, he's got some dots, some little balls. Oh, <gasps> look at this. Is this like a minecart? Are you a? Uh, are you a? So it, I'm gonna guess it's a place and it's a mine. It is a coal mine. Yeah, coal you got mine. it. <laughs> Working in a coal <laughs> mine. Down, look at that down, little yeah. minecart with a coal in it going. Yeah, that looks awesome. Check that. It's really out, good. Guys. That was a tough one I started with. Oh, and then you get a little burrito. Yeah, that's the beauty of Play Doh. Don't bite this. No, you, this is definitely going to be difficult, but. Oh, yeah. I, I just love doing this while you're it's, solving it. It's, I'm just it's actually really good for like playing. meetings. You know, if you're, yeah. if you're just sitting around in a meeting and you're like, what can we do, guys? It makes your hands you know, a little we, oily. What can we though. just do? The method's probably going to convey more of the shape than the shape will. Got it. All right, so we're pounding it out. We're trying to flatten it. We're getting kind of a rectangle. Rolling it out, getting the tubes. Oh, it right, it looks like an old school cell phone right now. Uh, it's a log of cheese. I'm not letting the color into it. This is this is the little children of the weird oh. alien. Oh, hang on. I mean you're getting you're getting some scale. I'm getting some idea. scale. Okay. I gotta I gotta stop. Shh shh shh. Stonehenge. <laughs> what? No. What? <laughs> I was just telling myself right. to be quiet. So he's got these little, Get! big one has an antenna on top or some sort of horn. Oh, oh, he's got some arrows, got it. There yeah. we go, we got an arrow. So he's saying focus on that. Okay. In 3D oh, space. building, tower, skyscraper. <gasps> um, oh, Empire State Building. Yes! Hey, I got, I see where you're going yes. for. These are little buildings. I don't even think I need to give you a category. You'll get this because I can sculpt this bad boy starting with this. Yep. For some reason, I didn't want to look. I thought I was, I'd be cheating if I was looking, but that's the whole, the whole point. Yeah. Right, ready? Right in front of me. Blast it. Oh, <gasps> it is a crab. Oh yeah. It is. Oh yeah, baby. Man spider. Oh, it is... you're very close. Look, I wouldn't want to see that coming at me. No, it's a. I, it's a spider. Wait. Uh, it's. Hold on. It's a very. Oh, it's a specific form of spider that that changes. A mama spider with a bunch of those nasty spiders on top. Is it a tarantula? Yeah, like a hairy, I'm, making, I'm making it a hairy, hairy tarantula. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is one. This one's gonna be very tough. It's difficult. It's in the difficult category. And for, that's difficult for drawing. Okay. Yeah, so you like got like a, two, like a, two bulbous things mm -hmm. there. I don't know why that 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 looks tasty. It's like a chicken wing. Oh, oh, 
drop, dropping something, uh, placing something. Okay, right, I so. have another idea to convey. I wonder what specifically that is. <laughs> I have a very, a very complex idea. This is an interesting shape. It seems like a very specific shape. Mm -hmm. Like almost like it was like, it was supposed to be like a dumbbell or a barbell, but. Now, <laughs> oh, my feet, me. All right, I'm trying my best. Okay. With the material at hand. Putting something inside of something else. Okay. And putting inside, uh, storing, putting something in inside, inside, inside. Oh man. In, inside out. Is inside part of it, the word inside? Yes. Okay, it's inside. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to go for, for, for proper scale. Inside. This is a more properly scaled uh, oh version. God. Of what that is. A properly shape. scaled version. In, in, inside a peanut. <gasps> inside a, inside nuts. Am I being stupid? Inside nut. Okay, inside. okay. I'll just be honest. I kind of screwed him with the side word, but. In nut, in, in. In shell, in peanut, in your shell, in a shell. In, in you're so close. I'll be so on in a so peanut close. shell. In oh, oh, in a oh, what is it? Is there a, there's a phrase, isn't there? Yes. In you said it, but you have some extra content in what you just said. In in a nutshell. Yes, God, sir. That was it. Go. I apologize. Wow. I, I threw you uh, with the with the side. That's right? okay. I wasn't, I wasn't consulting okay. my cards, but then I was like, inside a nutshell. No, no, no. I was like, that's good peanut. Okay, we're, we're doing a difficult one here. Okay. Now, I know that you're gonna go, wait a second, I've seen this, but it's, don't worry about it. Spider. No. Tarantula. <gasps> Okay. There's a there's a thorax and a mid body. Yeah. Tiny head. Yeah. Listen. Is it bugs life? Science. It's not bugs it's life. It's an anthill. So, <gasps> so we're gonna kind of more get, bugs. Yeah, more bugs. But it's remember it's difficult. And okay. I'm gonna use a little bit of a Trevor technique here. Go for it. Really, I really gotta get the point across here. There we go. <gasps> Is it like a ladybug or like a front like the queen the queen ant? No, we gotta get something like, across um, here. Oh, it's okay, so we're turning it, so we got it. Got uh -huh. it on camera there. Ooh, it's a wasp. It's a stinging creature. It's a bee with five legs. Okay, okay. Yes. Yeah, we've got the Trevor technique yep. here. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready? Stinger. It's pointing to what I would assume is the missing leg. Well. Or is it pointing to that leg there? The back leg. The, the, yeah, the knee the of a bee. Bee's knees. It's the <laughs> bee's knees! <laughs> the knee of a bee. <laughs> Yeah, bee's knees! That's so good! That's so good! It's pointing to the knee of a bee. <laughs> wow, that is the knee of a bee. <laughs> right there is the knee of a bee. I've been sculpting bugs, man. Bugs. Well, my other option was Star Wars. <laughs> I was like, Trevor, will get I'm just gonna make a TIE fighter. Let's and Trevor's see. gonna be like, oh yeah. Popular culture, but it is also difficult. <laughs> Oh, it's, a, <laughs> it's the ship that goes, ah! <laughs> they do scream. In I, I always, when I was a young kid, Elephant. when I was a young boy, I used to draw the TIE Fighters um, with a man trapped to the outside, and that's how they got the sound. And oh. then it wasn't until I grew up and realized uh, space is a vacuum and doesn't carry any sound. And the X-Wings go, wah, 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 when they shoot. Okay, we're making a person. Mm, yeah, we got yeah. we got a, we got an armless person, but I'm assuming that last tube. There we go. Okay, so we got we got. A, a, I'm gonna say a human. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go artsy on this one. All right, he's making something. And hopefully, some clothing. Oh, they have beautiful hair. Oh, it's a it's a helmet of some kind. Huh? Wow, it's like a. <clears throat> oh, he's a football player. Oh no! <laughs> it's a, he's a football player that's out for the season. It could be like, remember the Titans? Bowl. Oh, Super Bowl. Yes. Uh, Rose Bowl. The Super Bowl. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh Dude, man. the helmet's awesome. Here, let's get a little. That pose. slipped right on. Let's, let's I was, it was like let's... an accessory. It was okay. perfect. He's posed with his Super Bowl. Hold on, get your get your ball out here. Ew. That was really, really well done. Thanks. Nothing else. This episode has been a massive reminder. Yeah. That Plato is awesome. I'm just glad this is hanging around the office now. Yeah. Oh, I'm not gonna be able to stop stop this. This is my new favorite thing ever. I love. Oh, I forgot. How much Plato can you eat? S stop with the eating of it. It's not food. Between the games. Eating Play-Doh. Michael eats Play-Doh. It's totally non-toxic, but I don't think it also says edible. Uh, notice contains wheat. 
Yeah, non toxic we... conforms to ASTM D4236. <laughs> so clearly, by thus, you can eat it. So wait a minute, isn't wheat gluten? If you're gluten intolerant, I wouldn't be macking on Play Doh. Don't mac on Play Doh. That's yeah. what you learn from this. Uh, if you have a gluten intolerance, just yeah. this, you need to cut Play Doh out of your diet. Just, you know, just have fun with it. Just, yeah. I don't care how old you are. Go grab some Play-Doh, go snag some Play-Doh, and, snag just, it. and just have fun, just be creative. Just, and oh. if you like Pictionary, we did a, an early episode when we were kind of in the pilot days of Ready, Set, Show, we did Pancake Pictionary. We had a little bit more colors, but it was, uh, we cooked pancakes into the shapes of the things that we tried to do here. Check it out, we'll put it in the description. If there's other ideas that you guys wanna see us do, uh, other internet challenges, other fun things, other swip to swap, let us know in the comments below if you really like the show, Best way to let us know, the easiest way, is to hit like. Because we really appreciate it. It lets us know when we're on the right track. And we just really appreciate getting that feedback from you guys. Yeah, we appreciate um, all of your ideas yes. very much in the comments as well. They fuel the show. Yeah. So thank you for that. Question of the week this week, we should do, uh, what's your favorite childhood toy? You're, you're like, like it was slammed in front of you, brings up the most nostalgia. Play-Doh is certainly up there for me. Yeah. I'd probably say, even though it wasn't when I was much younger, it would probably be like, uh, crossfire, just because oh. of that ripping theme song. I was big on Bop It. Dude, Bop It, I yeah. had the high score in yeah. like third grade So uh, what about you? Uh, what, what was your favorite toy as a kid? Yeah, let us know down there. Uh, thanks again to harrys.com. Uh, Harry's, you got your shave stuff going on for sponsoring this episode. Did you know that 3,000 hours of an average man's lifetime is spent shaving? Well, life. don't waste four months of your life overpaying for poor performing razors. Uh, if you get razors from Harry's, they're so sharp, uh, you can shave less often and save money. So join 10 million people who have already tried Harry's. Claim your special offer now by going to harrys.com slash rooster, also in the description. Uh, they make quality, durable blades at a fair price. They're just $2 a blade, 100% quality guarantee. So if you don't like them, you can get your money back. And if you don't love your shave, you can let them know. And, and they'll be like, oh, okay, we got you, bud. We'll fix this. We got this. you, we'll fix, we'll fix this. this. Uh, of course you are going to love it, though. Mm -hmm. Harry's razors, they have a weighted ergonomic handle, makes the grip really easy. It has a five-blade razor, and they have a trimmer blade that makes it good for really close shaves. I use it this morning down here, because I shave up nice and close. Right there, you gotta get that line going. Mm. Uh, they also have a shaving gel that lathers up when you use it, and that's really, really good. I love their shaving gel. It smells great. Very, very much. And the travel blade, it's a cover for the razor, it keeps it dry on the go, so that, you know, it doesn't rust up while you're out. That's always a problem with razors, uh, not with this one. Viewers of the show can redeem their trial set at harrys.com slash rooster. Fun thing about Harry's, if you prefer to shop in the store, you can get Harry's razors at Walmart and Target. I pick up uh, from Target their shave gel all the yep. time. That's it's where I got mine. Shaved with them this morning. Right there on the shelf. Get the trial set, comes with everything you need. Comfortable shave. Boom. Harry's.com slash rooster. Thanks for supporting the show. Get your shave on. Oh! I love the that! the best boxing glove yes! ever! Oh, Plato fist bump all the buttons around, especially that one right then, right there. Yeah, right check there. out where we uh, translated some songs last week. That's a fun episode. It's in the carpet. It's in the carpet. Hit the like button, leave a comment, and we'll see you next week, everybody.